Connecticut Attorney General Richard Blumenthal announced today that he is suing Moody's and Standard & Poor's over their credit ratings for subprime loans. Richard Blumenthal, Connecticut Attorney General, joining us live right now from Rocky Hill, uh, Connecticut. Um, uh, good to have you back with us on, on Bloomberg. Uh, Attorney General, let me ask you, I mean, I looked at the suit. You basically say that the ratings agencies knowingly, you use that word several times in the complaint, um, that they put out ratings that they knew were wrong, and you say it other ways throughout the complaint. I mean, is that essentially it? What's essential to our claims is that the rating agencies said they were objective and independent, knowing that, in fact, they were heavily influenced by their powerful investment bank clients. They tailored their methodologies. They modified their compensation as well as compliance plans. They retaliated against employees who wanted to tell the truth. They were certainly far from objective and independent. And they knew that investors were relying on their risk assessments and very possibly making losing investments, which in fact turned out to be so. And we want restitution, we want money, but we also want to change the way that this industry does business. Attorney General, th these allegations have been out there since uh, 2007, though, if not earlier, and the money was lost already in 2008. I mean, why does this take so long, and why do we only see two states, Ohio and Connecticut, jumping on board here when it's such a widespread allegation? These cases are far from easy to investigate, and we needed to devote a lot of time and energy on the part of our staff. There are two states now whose attorneys general have filed these kinds of lawsuits, but there may be others, just as there were with other cases where consumers were harmed. But the point here is that the losses are there. Never too late to compensate for them, undo the harm, and force the companies to disgorge profits, which is our ultimate goal, but more important, to seek orders that will change these practices, particularly the pay to rate or the issuer pays kind of model, which we hope ultimately will be the case either through Congress or the courts. Attorney General Blumenthal, let me ask you, who do you ultimately find responsible? Is it the CEOs of these firms at the time? Do you find senior managers also responsible? I mean, there's a lot of folks who set the tone and policy of a firm. Who do you find ultimately responsible um, in this? We'll let the evidence speak for itself as to individual responsibility, but certainly in our complaint, as you know, we cite statements by senior management demonstrating, in a sense, their contempt for compliance procedures. We cite the dominance of these companies in the industry, which gave them the power, and unfortunately, they buckled under to their clients who wanted higher ratings for these very questionable securities, which were backed by the subprime mortgages, the credit loan, credit card loans, and student loans that proved to be worthless in many cases, and so did the securities. I, I mean, didn't these companies essentially pull the trigger here on the subprime financial crisis? I mean, giving these, uh, giving these financial instruments AAA ratings, and, and you say they were worth much, much less, and it turns out clearly they were worth much, much less. We say that the ratings were claimed to be objective and independent. We don't have to prove that the ratings were wrong, only that the companies said to investors that the ratings were objective and independent, knowing that they were very heavily influenced by methodologies that were skewed, compliance procedures that were defective, compensation structures that were flawed, all because they were catering to the investment banks and other issuers. All right, hey, thank you so much for joining us, Connecticut Attorney General Richard Blumenthal.